it's Kathleen and today I have some January favorites for you guys. Now these are not my beauty favorites. Uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, this is actually my vlog channel now. I did a whole switch but my new channel is Kathleen's Closet. I'm going to link that right here and that's where my beauty favorites will be. Uh, this is kind of more like my life favorites I guess. But I got this idea from Wonderland Wardrobe. Fun fact, um, she's actually dating Anthony Padilla of Smosh and I actually went to high school with the guys from Smosh so yeah it's kind of cool having somebody um who succeeded on youtube that was went to my school so anyways fun fact so she did she does this whole like favorites thing every month where she just asks a couple of questions kind of get a little bit more insight on you know who she is and her life and stuff like that so i guess i will start so the first question is funniest thing that happened to you this month uh that would definitely have to be well now at work, uh, me and my coworker known, are known as the, the juice stealers. <laughs> Long story short, we thought that the juice was for, you know, everybody. Um, and so we drank, like, two each. <laughs> and then later on that night, we found, we were walking to the door to leave, and he had the juices in his hand, and we it was, it was one of those moments where me and her just kind of looked at each other, and I was like, oh! And in, like, slow motion, I was like, oh my god! And she's like, don't say it, don't say it, and we both just start laughing, and he's just standing there like, um, did you guys steal my juice? <laughs> we felt so bad, so now we owe him, like, four Capri Suns, and we're known as the juice stealers of Target, so watch out. Number two, which shows did you watch? Um, I've definitely been watching Pretty Little Liars, Heart of Dixie, uh, New Girl, all of the good shows have definitely come back this month, um, but... The show that I've been really into is American Horror Story, and um, I just got into it. My mom recorded, like, the second half of the season, and I was just bored flipping through the recordings, and I was like, I guess I'll try watching it. It is so awesome. Oh my god. It's, like, not really scary. It's more creepy than scary, but, oh my god, I love that show so much. I don't know how I didn't get into it earlier, but I definitely want to see the, the episode with Adam Levine, because... Gotta love me some Adam Levine. Uh, three, which movies did you watch this month? Um, don't make fun of me, you guys, but I had, like, a week straight where I just watched Disney Channel. Don't ask me why. Um, but Sophia the First came on, and I know it's, like, a toddler movie, but it was so darn cute, and it's got the girl from, uh, Modern Family, and then what sold me is they have Tim Gunn playing the butler, and I'm obsessed with Tim Gunn, and he's, like, telling Sophia all the time, make it work, make it work. I just thought it was so cute. So, yeah, I know, I'm five years old. Another good movie that I watched was called Looper, and I didn't really hear about this until we went to Redbox. I saw that it had Joseph Gordon-Levin in it, and he is, like, my love, so I was like, okay, we're gonna watch this. <laughs> my boyfriend, my poor boyfriend had to sit there and watch me, like, gush over Joseph Gordon-Levitt, but I don't care. He's so darn cute. Um, but I, it's a really good movie, but you kind of have to pay attention the whole time. It's really easy to get lost in the storyline, um, but it's a really good movie overall, and it has Joseph Gordon-Levitt in it. Oh! Next question, name something that you are proud of yourself for. Uh, I'm definitely proud that I have taken initiative and I'm filling out a scholarship right now. Um, it's a, been a pain in the butt because I had to get like a letter of recommendation and it's the first week of school and it's sent, it's supposed to be sent like next week. Ugh, that's really not fun trying to get a counseling appointment the first week of school. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited because I don't know, I've I felt kind of down a little bit. I honestly kind of got behind in school. I don't know what happened, but I, I'm just at that point where I feel like I should be further in my schooling than I actually am, but I'm glad that I'm taking initiative and filling out a scholarship and cross your fingers that I get it. Next question, name any big life events. Um, well, nothing yet, but one of my best friends is expecting, and she was supposed to be due a couple of days ago, and so it's kind of like we're on the edge of our seats waiting for her to give birth, and I'm so excited to meet little Miss Melody. Ah, oh, she's going to be so cute. I'm so excited to meet her. Um, other than that, it's just pretty much been winter vacation, and like we had New Year's, and New Year's was kind of a bust, but New Year's never really is very much fun for me. I don't know why, I just have bad luck with New Year's. Um, 
But yeah, I'm just so excited for Miss Melody to be born. I'm so excited! Next question, what food have you been loving? I have been obsessed with making my own sandwiches, and what I do is I get the, like, freshly baked rolls from Costco. Um, my mom buys, like, the whole big package of them, and I put ham and cream cheese and mayonnaise and cheddar and lettuce and avocado, pretty much anything in the fridge. I put it on that sandwich, and it's so good. I've just been obsessed with eating those. Um... And then also, I've been loving iced tea, which is weird because it's the middle of the winter, but I drink so much coffee in December that I kind of just need something crisp, so I've been loving making my own iced teas, and I've been mixing, like, peach tea with green tea and raspberry tea and all sorts of teas. <sighs> Thank God for having a Keurig. Listen. Next question, what songs have you been listening to? I've been obsessing with Blink-182 and Taylor Swift lately, um, but that's not really a shock. They're like my favorite of all time. I love those two. Um, also, I've been loving Kesha's Die Young. No matter how crazy she is, we all have to admit she has some darn catchy songs, and that Die Young song, ugh, I could listen to it like a hundred times and not get sick of it. Also, I've been loving Don't Lie by Brett Eldridge. I don't know, it's a really feel-good song. Ugh, I just, I love his voice. It's so good. Next question, where have you traveled to? I actually traveled to Tahoe, if you guys saw my videos. Um, I had an outfit of the day and then just kind of a girls' day video. Um, but yeah, my best friend and I had a day trip to Tahoe, and it was just so much fun, just getting away for the day with your best friend. And so, yeah. And then also, I went to this, um vehicle, this like state vehicle park. My boyfriend's really into four-wheeling and so I was like, okay, I guess I'll go. Yeah, we were like rolling around on rocks on his in his like giant truck all day. It was mildly frightening at one point. We were like halfway tilted this way. Yeah, not really my cup of tea, but I mean it was pretty fun. Next, what is your favorite material item? And that has definitely got to be this camera. Um, I got it for Christmas. Well, I got another Christmas I got another camera for Christmas, and then, um, long story short, I ended up paying half for this and half for their, and my parents ended up paying half, um, I just wanted, like, a really nice camera that's gonna last me a long time, and so I love this thing, it's the Canon SX40, and it has just done me so well, I'm so happy, and I've gotten some good feedback on it, so, yay, I love this camera! Next, last question, what did you learn this month? Um, it's funny, I actually saw this on Instagram and it kind of just hit me. It was, um, comparison, comparison is the killer of all joys. And it just kind of like stuck in my head this month because I've kind of had that problem where, like I said earlier, I kind of feel like I'm behind and that I should be doing more than I have, you know? I should be further along in my education, I should have been, I should have a better job, blah, 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 but I mean, at the same time, I'm 20, and I'm just gonna do things at my own pace, um, and I found myself just comparing myself to other people all the time, and it really puts you down when you do that, because jealousy is really, like, an evil little thing, and it's not something that needs to be in your life. Be happy for people's successes, and not be jealous, and, and be proud of my own successes, and so, yeah, that's basically what I learned this month, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little favorites video. I really like doing them and I'm definitely going to be doing them every month. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye!